what's going on everybody welcome to trading crypto today we're going to have a floki which is up 49 percent at triple zero one floki has been absolutely ripping even in the bear market bottom Floki is one of the dog coins that have absolutely started running before the ball run too it's actually leading the dog pack i would dare to say that floki is currently the alpha dog um of the pack market cap of only 1.1 billion we went up a lot higher than that last bull run if i'm not mistaken if we go max and go to market cap actually we didn't actually we didn't we're currently at an all-time high market cap that's absolutely insane for floki and then the all-time high was two years ago at 3365 we're only down 66 percent from that all-time high which is awesome a lot of meme coins are still down 90 percent plus from their all-time high so floki heading into the parabolic phase with the bull run only being down 66 percent leads me to believe that overtaking this all-time high is going to be easily attainable for floki all-time low two years ago imagine buying this two years ago man you'd be up 135 x actually 1357 x on your investment absolutely insane you can currently pick floki up on the following exchanges down here so with that let's get into the price prediction and technical analysis on floki all right everybody let's get into floki look at this bottom june of 2022 and never looked back held the uptrend support perfectly and now we're pretty much in no man's land here yeah we this was a prior resistance here we're going back to december 2021 but if we continue this run up where we're currently at we're gonna be smashing through our all-time highs before we even enter the parabolic phase of the bull run which is absolutely insane so if we draw our fits from the top to the bottom as well what we can currently see is that our rejection area was the 786 at approximately 1445 so 1445 is going to be your moon line right there this line right there is the line that we need to be in order for floki to go absolutely parabolic we're going to draw a horizontal line right here and if you if you just joined floki if you're new to crypto you're like oh my gosh this is such a huge run the hell you haven't seen anything yet when you break out of an area such as this orange line right here when you break above that that's when you actually start going nuclear like <laughs> nuclear if you've never experienced a bull run before you're in for a treat uh one thing i want to point out here is the 1618 is all the way up here at 005 usually if you draw your fib from the prior bull run top to the bear market bottom the next bull run top usually blows up around the 1618 that's usually where you top out at you can back test that on a lot of different coins and you'll find that to be true so from where we're currently at up to that 1618 that's approximately a 38 to 40 x and that would bring floki up to around a 40 billion market cap which i think it can easily do in this upcoming bull run so i think floki still has a 40 x in the tank guys i really really do according to the technicals it is definitely doable so right now, yeah, even with the expanded wedge going right here, you can see we have an expanded wedge from the bottom, you know, work our way up for something like this, down and then blow off top like that. So I think Floki definitely still has a 40X in the tank, but right now we are running into our pretty much main resistance, our moonline resistance at around 1445. Indicators right now, we're still bullish. We had a nice engulfing candle today on the MACD. The RSI is overbought. We flashed red saying, hey, it might be a good time to take profit and we just sailed up a little bit more we are the second highest we've ever been on the rsi the last time we were this high is when we smacked into the 618 right here and caused a rejection wtx is actually off the charts we're over the red the highest we have ever been on the wtx on the day chart and we have not printed a sell signal yet either um so i think in the meantime we do have a chance at continually to head up to that 786 around 1442 or 142 area and i think from that point on we might see a small stagnation or consolidation around that period because we are currently overbought and that is a very very critical resistance area that's your moon line right there i don't see us going to the moon with the indicators as overbought as they are right now so i think in the short term we'll probably smack into that and see a slight pullback and then a continuation to the upside for floki now where would that pullback bring us if we draw our fib for the from this initial run up from top to the bottom I would make the assumption that the pullback would probably bring us back down to the 618 or the 786. So there's two different scenarios here. We come back down to the 618 or 786 at around um, 9,500, and then we rally up. And then worst case scenario is the 618 here at 72, and then we rally up really hard from that point on. Either one's beneficial, in my personal opinion. It allows you to DCA, get some more coins before you start absolutely ripping. Because when this thing starts doing another 40X, you're going to look back at these times and be like, man, I wish I would have bought but floki's looking super strong right now even on the four hour chart 
four hour chart, we're starting to show that slight pullback, which we talked about on the day chart. So the first support is 786 at around 95. 9,500. And then the worst case scenario, I think is the 618 right here at 7309. You can see on the four hour chart, we're already starting our descent. Uh, the last eight hours have been bearish. We've lost our bullish momentum in the last eight hours. We're overbought on the RSI and that's starting to roll over as well. And we did just print a sell signal on the WTX. Yes, we printed one earlier back here and continued up, but I think for the time being, Floki might've found a top and we're just gonna be seeing a slight retracement either back down to 9.5 and then a continuation or worst case scenario, it's a 618 and then a continuation of the upside. I don't think this runs over at all. I think it's just beginning. I just think it's all you need is a cool down phase, similar to, the, similar to what you had right here. You hit the 0.5, you pulled back, and then you had another run. And every time you have a, a pullback, the next runs would be larger, but then you'll have a larger pullback, and then you'll have a larger run. So that's exactly what I think we're experiencing here, what we just experienced back at the end of February, but on a little bit of a larger scale. I think that's what we're going to see top. 786 run or top 618 and run once we'll keep an eye on these fib areas but one of them is going to hold up and once we touch one of those that reversal is going to take effect and it's going to be massive and i think that will give us that running chance of breaking over that critical resistance area and then taking floki to the moon so with that none of this is financial advice and if you have any coins you'd like me to chart you can just send me a super chat in the comments and i'll get to your coin within 24 hours thank you